Good morning. Welcome to another video. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did a video where I played safe everywhere I could just to see what would happen. And some of that actually I felt helped me and some of it actually hindered me in scoring. So today I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm going to go out blaring with the driver, attacking greens, attacking flags and see if some of that helps me or if some of that hinders me. What I think we'll end up with is if we take a little bit of the playing safe and a little bit of the playing aggressive, we'll actually end up with a game plan that does us the best good. We abandon the stuff we don't need, we take on board the stuff that we do need. Now it's just started raining. I don't know how bad this is going to get today. <laughs> I mean, it's the end of October, it's, it's bloody miserable. So uh, I'm on the phone because the phone's a little is more waterproof than the, the camera, so, but the sound is worse. So there's going to be less chat and more golf. First tee, 10 minutes. So the first tee with a driver and I'm out of my comfort zone already, really. So I, I do not feel right with this. So the commitment is very much on the low side. Now I'd like to go at the green with a 9-iron, but actually there's branches above my head, so it's got to be the chunk out with the 6. Going to attack this flag. And that's just a fraction too big. Shame, really. It was a good shot, though and an opening bogey which is business as usual for me really second hole driver again much better result even though that was a little bit skanky and again a little bit out of my comfort zone going for this flag but that's what we got to do today we got to play aggressive just to see what happens. Little chip. Not bad. Didn't really have any control over that. But we got our par. Fourth hole out with the driver as normal. And this is halfway decent, so I'm warming up a bit now. Right, I would love to hit a 9-9 into the front half of this green, but as we're going aggressive, this is an 8.
can't go under, I can't go over. All I've got is this little gap between the two trees. Here we go. So has anyone noticed that now I've got started into the game and I'm warmed up a lot better, I kind of like churning out the bars. This shot is screaming for a nice safe 6 or 7 iron, I'm going with a 5 because I'm playing aggressive, and that's awful. And it's awful because I was completely out of my comfort zone, but as I've been practicing my pitches, The saving part of the game is getting a little better. <laughs> now I do hit driver here from time to time, depending on the wind and the softness of the ground. So I was comfy with that shot. I'm taking the wedge because I didn't think the 50 degree would reach. And then the wind dropped. And when the wind dropped, I went too damn far. The front of the 11th green is being relayed again, so we're just playing to a little temp. That north wind really killed the drive. At 202 there, and I've hit as good a three wood as I possibly can, because we're playing aggressive. And it's still short. You know what, I've been coming up here since I was 28 years old. You know, playing society days, playing matches against Lilybrook and all sorts of stuff. I've never ever hit driver on this hole. I know that's hard to believe, but I really haven't. That was my cherry gun. I've absolutely beasted it. Will I adopt it? I don't know, because I just don't see this as a driver hole. Let's go and see how close I am and see how awkward that is. 
Well, I've had to think about this since I made the video. And I've decided that if the wind is strong enough, I'll take driver. Because it is so important to be able to see this green for your second shot rather than my three wood coming up at the bottom of the bank. When you can see the green, this happens. Well, I'm not too keen on driver here, simply because it's so easy to slice it into the trees on the right. And if you do hit a good one, you're faced with the kind of slope like this. Now I know I get on this slope with the five wood or even the hybrid occasionally, but most of the time, gosh, sorry, I'm listening to the rain outside. Yeah, most of the time I'm on the flat, so it's better than this. I should have been playing today, but it is absolutely lamping it down outside. Well, 15 is a driver hole anyway, so there's no real change here. But we've got quite a strong north wind, so this is a short drive, and I can't reach the green with my second. Okay, so what's the point of these two videos? Playing exceptionally safe in the first one and now playing kind of aggressive golf or as aggressive as I can manage. Well, the idea is it's an experiment. It's to find out what works and what doesn't work. If something works on a particular hole for me, then I add it in the game. If something doesn't work, then we discard it. Now, I don't know you, and I don't know your golf course, but you can look at these two videos and think to yourself, I think what he did on that hole is useful to me. I'm gonna incorporate it in my game and get better. And I think what he did on that other hole is not useful for me. So I'm gonna discard it and I'll get better. So this is your journey, not mine. You've got the opportunity now to look at your golf course in a different light, make different decisions and get better. Now I've got a long par three with water on it and I'm playing aggressive. So uh, wish me luck. Well, before you all jump on me, I know I could have taken a drop out of the water up by the green and possibly made a four. 
instead of the five. I just wanted to par the second ball. And I hit it a bit knifey, but at least knifey means straight. One to go. Group in front's only just teed off. They're down here in the fairway, so we'll have to wait a moment. 